What it does do, if you close your eyes and move towards the sun, and then back and forth, you can see, even through your eyelids, you can see uh, it's lighter or darker. And that's what this does for these guys. And then he wants to be able to get in and out of the light so he can maintain during the day a nearly uh, a constant temperature during the day. He would like his temperature to be about 95. And on a day like that, it's easy to do. But if you sit in the shade, it's not 95. And then it goes over here. But this is a boy. And we can tell the boy because the, the patch here, the guler fold, and the laterals are very dark and bright. We don't have a female to contrast. But also, the tail, that it goes, if it was a female, be tapered very gradually. But first, this tapers kind of, it's kind of wide, and then it tapers. And the intromittent organ, we'll leave it at that, are double. They're called hemipenes. And we have one on this side and one on that side. And they're also spine, they got spines in them. So I'm not going to describe to you some of the <laughs> some of the ecstasy that might be enjoyed by the male and female of this species in a copulatory type of activity. But looking at the rear end of these guys, you see this beautiful yellow. And these guys are called scoloporous, and porous means poor, and they have pores here, kind of set lines across this yellow thing there. And it's 